from Musk buying Twitter to EU pushing for a stronghold on tech giants to Meta opening its first physical store, a lot has happened in the last week. Let's not forget India where record-breaking patents were filed in the last seven years. So welcome to the Weekly Roundup, I am Piran Chaudhary and here are the top stories from the data and analytics ecosystem in India. After Musk buys Twitter, Parag Agarwal, CEO of Twitter in an email to his employees addressed their concerns and mentioned that there would be no layoffs. He did however add that the company is entering a state of uncertainty. As per a report, as low as 10% of Twitter's employees are enthusiastic about the takeover. A few days ago, Agarwal even said that once the deal is sealed for Musk to buy Twitter, he doesn't know which direction the platform will eventually go. On the other hand, Jeff Bezos took Twitter to draw attention to Tesla's apparent link to China soon after Musk's purchase of Twitter for $44 billion. Quoting a separate tweet, Bezos said that the Chinese government just gained a bit of leverage over the town square. Here's the tweet by the New York Times journalist, which was shared by Bezos, where he pointed out that China is Tesla's second largest market after the US. Further, some of China's major battery makers are suppliers of Tesla's EVs. It is noteworthy that Twitter is also banned in China. Many users questioned Jeff as well on his handling of the Washington Post that he acquired in 2013 in a $250 million deal. Basically, the internet is been in a frenzy lately. Moving on, the European Union announced that the Parliament and Member States have agreed on a new set of laws called the Digital Service Act or DSA. Once passed, the big tech companies like Google and Meta would be forced to reveal how their algorithms work, change their approaches to targeted advertising. Now the EU will have a final vote on the DSA once the language is finalized. New obligations include removing illegal content and goods more quickly, explaining to users and researchers how their algorithms work, taking stricter actions on the spread of misinformation. Upon any violation, the companies will face a fine up to 6% on their annual turnover. Meta announced its Meta Store, a first physical retail space, all set to be inaugurated on May 9th in California. At the Meta Store, customers will be able to get hands-on experience with all Meta's hardware products using the interactive demos. The visitor can make video calls to retail associates with Meta Portal, learn how rape and stories can help them stay present, or explore the magic of VR with an immersive Meta Quest 2 demo. Meta is also making it easier to shop Meta Portal, Rape and Stories and Meta Quest Online in the shop tab on meta.com. As many as 1.38 lakh patents were filed by Indian companies from 2015 to 2022. According to the latest report by NASCOM, the report is part of the series of NASCOM's emerging technology focused reports to understand how India technology companies create IP assets in their largest market. This also marks the start of the IP chapter of FY 2023 and deep dive analysis into the tech patents filed in India. About 50% of the patents filed from 2015 to 2021 were based on emerging technologies. AI patents more than doubled from 2015 to 2021. About 1,300 patents were filed in the AI domain from 2015 to 2021. The former director of Google Research, David Lewin, in his series of Twitter threads, spoke about how extremely talented ML folks from big tech companies have come together to form Adapt AI. The tech company is focusing on building a foundational general artificial intelligence product. Media organizations say that the new team claims to have cracked the code to a universal AI assistant, or at least have gotten a little bit closer. He said that Adept emerged for $65 million funding and is building general intelligence to enable humans and computers to work together creatively to solve problems. Navikens, a consulting-led AI service company, raised $4 million in seed funding from several HNIS. The investment comes at the time when the firm aims to expand and strengthen its position in the industry. IT industry veteran Anjan Lehri founded Navikens in 2021 to help enterprises implement AI-enabled solutions to improve business process and supplement human effort with human intuition. 
Moving on, Cactus Communication and Technology Company announced its acquisition of Mindcraft, a SaaS platform with the world's largest scientifically accurate illustrations gallery. This technology acquisition will enable Cactus to provide automated DIY science figures and AI-powered scientific communication solutions to the researcher community, academic publishers, and the life sciences industry. It will focus on Cactus business division, like its brand impact science, which offers solutions for science dissemination and research engagements with peers, the public, and policymakers. Driverless cars are here. Pony AI, an autonomous driving technology company, became the first of its kind to obtain a taxi license in China. Pony AI has been awarded a permit to operate 100 autonomous vehicles as traditional taxis. Now, Pony AI was founded in 2016 and has pioneered autonomous mobility technologies. The company has partnered with leading OEMS including Toyota, FAW Group and GAC Group. The U.S. Department of Defense has appointed Dr. Craig Martel as Chief Digital and Artificial Intelligence Officer. The CDA role was created to oversee data and AI initiatives under one official at the highest levels of the Pentagon. The CDAO reports to the Deputy Secretary of Defense. Now, the job of the incoming CDAO would be to accelerate AI and its digital development across military services and commands. As CDAO, Martin would also be responsible for leveraging AI and analytics to give commanders and decision makers the capabilities to stay ahead of China, the Pentagon's facing challenge. So that's all for today. Keep watching this space for more updates.